uh, d- did you hear? The the no, no. Epcot's Festival Center is now just the festival area. Oh yeah. Yeah. So no more Jetsons building table thing. Weird. That sucks. Hello and welcome to the Park Stop Podcast, episode 29. My name is Alicia Stella and with me as always my co-host Ian. Hey kids. Today we are talking about Walt Disney World ride rumors. Wait, episode 29? Wow. I Is that supposed to be like a lot? I feel like we've been doing this forever. I know. <laughs> but I mean, it's 29 of this episode, not to count the other things we've done. So it seems like a lot. Yeah, we've done like two uh, two dozen episodes on Patreon, so it feels like we've been doing this a lot more. But yeah. you know, imagine not if we point. did this weekly, we'd be at like you know <laughs> episode ninety or something by now. Oh, no, not a complaint. It's super fun. I just it didn't dawn on me till you said the twenty nine. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> um, before we get into some Disney World stuff, uh, we'll we'll talk about what everyone else is talking about in the last couple weeks, and that is in our news segment. I don't have a musical intro. Should we have a musical intro? Like do 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 do. There we go. Sure. That just happened. Okay, I guess that's good now. Just sample that for all the news. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Super Nintendo World and Universal Studios Japan is now scheduled to open February 4th. (sighs) Yay. So excited. Um, It looks ridiculous. It doesn't look real. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 as I've been saying, like I woke up and I usually go on my phone before I get out of bed and I look and I'm like, let's see, let's see what's on Twitter. And I'm like, oh, wow, this concept art keeps getting better and better. And it's, I just zoom in. I'm like, (laughs) wait a minute. That (laughs) is real life. I know. (laughs) I sent it to people. I'm like, this is not concept art. That's really it. I what? <laughs> it's awesome. This 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 might be the first time that concept art doesn't look as good as real life. I know it's crazy. I totally agree with that statement. It's so crazy looking. I'm excited. Um, yeah, we got our first look inside of the Mario Kart building, not the actual ride, but we saw some parts of the queue and the load station, which is something I've been hoping and waiting for forever, because every time they make a little announcement about something, I'm like, just show us the load platform. Just show us the load platform. That's all I ask for. And they finally <laughs> did it so we could see the actual ride vehicles for Mario Kart. And they're in multiple colors. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting just red and white. So I'm excited about that, too. The trophies. They got the trophy display thing, too. And the statue. Oh, my God. It's so cool. There's lots of cool stuff. Stuff. Like it's I'm the not, Universal Cup. It's the I know. Universal <laughs> Cup. How cute is that? <laughs> <laughs> like this isn't even the land I'm hoping for the most for Epic Universe when it finally gets around to whatever it's doing, and I'm still excited for this. This is the this is the one time I'm going to say that Universal might have out Disney Disney because everything looks a hundred percent perfect. Like even the fact that they're doing the augmented reality and the the, the 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 goggles the glasses look mm. like Mario hats like I know what what brainstorming session someone's sitting around going you know what how can we plus this and that's what they're like let's make it a Mario hat oh my god it's perfect it's all perfect yeah it looks more like a visor than glasses <laughs> yeah so uh, I I put out a video <clears throat> when the announcement came out and it has a lot of the like recaps all of the the new information that we talked about so we're not going to get too much into it now I just wanted to mention it because it's awesome. <laughs> Totally agree. I'm excited for it. And then after that, Universal Mm -hmm. here in Orlando put out the first official photographs and official video of the Velocicoaster trains. So we can see the coaster trains in like high definition and under perfect lighting with digitally added lens flares and smoke effects. (laughs) But (laughs) they look awesome. No, that. They, they really do. They, they've like the the Hulk, the new Incredible Hulk trains and now this and uh, the Hagrid coaster, like they are really taking um, like compared to Rip Ride Rocket. <laughs> <laughs> Your favorite roller coaster. Just like they're knocking out of the park with this. Like these designs are gorgeous. They're 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 perfect. They're absolutely. And it's not something I would imagine for a Jurassic coaster experience. Like it's so modern, which is fits well with Jurassic World. It does. It looks so cool. All the lights and stuff on it. And they look they look like they're fast and they're not even moving. It's great. Yeah. And that's kind of like how the new Hulk coaster looked like it's the old one was so like, you know, 90 style bubbly. And then the, the new Hulk is like very it's got like edges and it just looks like a really awesome car. And then this is like something it's even more futuristic and it's got all the glowing LED lights. So 
So, yeah. so you're saying the whole cars are edgy since they have edges, but I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. So mm-hmm. very excited about this. Um, when we're recording this, I'm actually going to the park to Universal tomorrow to um, hopefully I'm going to be able to see some testing. I haven't seen the VelociCoaster testing in person yet, so I'm hoping to catch a, a bit of it. And But it's exciting how much testing is going on. It's not supposed to open till the summer. That's like six months away. And, and they're already like so done. So yeah, somebody learned a lesson from Hagrid's, I think. <laughs> Maybe, <clears throat> you know, as long as the Osprey doesn't lay an egg, I think we'll be fine. <laughs> I mean, it is a raptor, like we've said plenty of times. So I mean, hey, that bird, that bird was setting up a nest. They did last night and they did some testing, knocked down all the twigs. And as soon as the car, the coaster like went over the top hat, the bird was back with more twigs. And it's like, this bird will not give up. (laughs) (laughs) They are running the coaster and in between it going over the top hat. She is building the nest. She's like, this is my spot. I don't care what you guys are doing. You silly humans. Knock it off. (laughs) You have no idea how easy it is for me to see the fish from here. (laughs) (laughs) I'll just make her a perch give it to her so okay we'll talk more about that stuff as we get closer to those things especially when nintendo opens in just a couple months we will be talking endlessly about how the the mad the, the magic bands the, the power up bands work which are about 31 dollars, <laughs> by the way we we found that out oh. what is um it's uh i mean it's still cheaper than the 50 dollar. we have to go back to the recording and see because we guessed how much we thought the power up bands were going to be we did and Um, yeah i think your guess was way closer mine was like maybe 20 25 1999 and yours was like 40 or 50 or something weird i gotta look it up so i I think we were kind of around it and you the 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 truth was in the middle but yeah um we'll be talking about that as we get closer or as it opens because there's still so much we don't know about super nintendo world um oh yeah uh i think there's a theater or something under peach's castle Ooh. I, well, I, I I don't know how I missed this, but I, I received some information and I'm like, what? I thought there was like restrooms or something under there. And I guess there are restrooms nearby, but like there's a full on some kind of theater interesting. underneath Peach's Castle. I don't know what it's for. I'm like, there's already a little like character stage in the middle of the courtyard, but I guess that's for meet and greets. So maybe there's some kind of character theater show thing. I don't know. Interesting. But it just goes to show how much secrets the Super Nintendo world holds that even myself, who thinks I know everything, is still like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> the holder of the secrets has learned more secrets. Yeah. So it's this is it's impressive. Just the, the fact that they showed us. I'm not going to stop talking about it. The fact that they showed us footage <laughs> of the actual land and everything's so kinetic and everything's moving. And if you look in the top right corner, Yoshi is supposed to be walking around a tree. But he is not moving. So like the one like the one animatronic I know is supposed to be moving wasn't moving. So like even with one of them being broken that day, it still blows my mind how impressive it is with the kinetics. Like it's ridiculous. It looks so amazing. And Yoshi's moving nonstop is great. All right. So that's the end of our new segment. We're going to shift gears so hard here. We're going to get whiplash. Moving on to Disney World. (laughs) Yay. Wait, Disney. We talk about Disney. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, well, that's that's what happens is we don't talk about Disney for so long. We have to do like a catch up on uh, rumors for for Walt Disney World all in, all in one really long episode. That's OK. We got it. And go. so a few weeks back, uh, I think it was the week of IAPA, which was virtual this year because 2020 um, mm-hmm. Disney announced some stuff. And also during their uh, D23 Fantastic Worlds event. Huh? Huh? Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> They didn't give us very much information. Like I said before, the the festival center has been changed to festival area in um, in the press release. Lame. So so it seems like there's some. Although they did confirm that the Walt Disney statue is still planned for behind Spaceship Earth, so some things are still planned. Uh, maybe that wishing tree is still planned, or story tree, or whatever it was called, is still planned. But that big festival center building doesn't look to be planned anymore. Lame. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, but we did get some like new footage of the Guardians coaster train testing, mm. some new photographs so cool. of f- photographs of the actual trains, uh, photographs of the trains on the track, and a photograph inside the building of some of the actual track. So we got mm. some information, little drips and drabs of Guardians information. So that's so pretty cool. cool. So cool. I'm excited for this ride. Yeah. I mean, we have uh remy's ratatouille adventure opening someday um but that is a cloned attraction it's nice we need the capacity we need more kids rides it's Meh. fine but guardians coaster mm-hmm. um guardians although wait what, what's the name of this thing the guardians of the galaxy cosmic rewind mm-hmm. it's a short <sighs> These name names these names <laughs> are killing it's a short me. name <laughs> i didn't even write it down because i forgot um I, I, I just want like, when do we think this thing's opening? Like, mm. they didn't mention it originally. It was scheduled for 2021, but now we have the Ratatouille 2021. So people are thinking 2022. I'm gonna guess 2022. And that would be that, Epcot's 40th anniversary. Yeah, I'm gonna guess. I think anything's gonna. I think that suit is. I think the earliest we'll get anything is 2022. Besides Ratatouille's. Yeah. Maybe Tron next year, but it's, I don't know. It keeps slowing down and speeding up with the construction over there. So I don't know, but yeah, I'm really worried about it. Like everyone was telling me it was supposed to be ready in time for the official, like actual 50th anniversary of Magic Kingdom at, um, in October. And, and it's like, I, and I'm like, okay, good. Tron, we, we, we'll get uh, Ratatouille in like the spring and we'll get Tron at the end of the year. That'll be awesome. But now mm-hmm. there sounds like they're just going to stop construction on Tron altogether after Christmas um, and just like pause it and work on Guardians faster and try to get that done. It's like this weird decision where like things that are more done are getting pushed a, a farther away and like the things that they shouldn't be opening like the play pavilion because all the interactive areas are closed for covid or the star wars hotel like that's a main priority right now the 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 the, the space so cruise weird. they're they're focusing on that so before weird. they are focusing on tron and it's like well, i don't yeah okay Tron is so far along and like I've been watching people like going through the parks and looking at updates and it seems like the construction would go pretty quick and then slow down to almost stop. And then it just is, I don't know what it's doing now. I haven't w- looked up anything recently, but it's just weird. Just finish the thing. If you got one that's almost done, just finish it and give it to us. Nobody I mean, Epcot- ever, nobody's beating down any doors to get inside that play thing. I'm telling you. Well, and here's the thing is what I'm thinking is the magic kingdom doesn't need the capacity i guess it has the rides uh it has the it's the most popular theme park in the world epcot on the other hand it's not they're not giving away all the park reservations on a daily basis for that park that's why park Mm -hmm. hopping is coming back next month is so that when you're done at hollywood studios or you didn't get your boarding group you can go to epcot after two and spend some money because they're hurting real bad there so epcot needs all the rides it can get it needs all the new stuff it can get so I get where they're coming from. It's just weird to me because like they've worked so hard on something like Tron and it looks done-ish and then they're just going to pause. But at yeah, least, you know. the weird part. It's almost done. Just finish it and then slam everybody over in Epcot. Just finish it. Like what else you well, got going on at Magic Kingdom after that? They probably want to redo Space Mountain after the other one opens, I guess. They have to close Splash Mountain to start doing that one. We'll talk about that next. So... You know, yeah, they, but I'm saying, like, I get Tron it. Is, I get it too. But I mean, in my opinion, just finish Tron. It's basically they have like what that outer building structure is basically the majority of what's left. Just yeah, finish. I don't know what they're waiting on. Uh, uh, it may be rerouting that. And also our train is closed. I want the train to open yep. back up. That's like exactly. something that I actually would ride right now. Like I, I'm not doing like indoor shows and things like for safety reasons. I think an outdoor train is actually one of the better options we could be riding right now. Yeah, and it's classic. Like that's like a staple. You need to get I on miss the train. It. Yeah, I miss weird. it. Just finish training. Just finish Tron. Get the train going, and then go tackle everything else at Epcot. And that was my else. lazy way of getting out of the park from wherever I was to Main Street without having to walk. <laughs> Take me <laughs> to the front. <laughs> so back to the Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. Uh, it's we we've seen okay it's not that exciting because we've seen this ride vehicle like 18 times now at this point yeah but but it looks cool. 
it does look cool. It's cool to see it in the footage of the actual testing. Like we saw some um, not uh, uh, approved testing footage, but then now we see actual Disney footage of it spinning because it's a storytelling coaster that rotates 360 degrees to focus guests on the action, including the first reverse launch on a Disney coaster. Actually, I'm pretty excited about that. Yeah, that's going to be cool. Especially if the cars start rotating a little bit. Now, did you notice in that photograph uh, uh, of the inside of the building, um, the Space Mountain photograph, uh, that <laughs> you can see in the back of the photo, you can see where the the backwards launch comes into the building, and then it like turns and goes right into a brake run. So oh. coaster enthusiasts everywhere are groaning and be like, wait, why be launched into slow? Like, That's so cool. <laughs> what are you kidding? I no, I think it it might be for story reasons that they just haven't installed whatever it is that we're going to look at there. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, if it's a quick launch and then it's sudden stop, depending on what they're doing there, it could be exciting, I guess. It does seem odd, though. Yeah, it seems to for it's counterintuitive. But these days with these launches and coasters, nothing makes sense to me anymore. So because you don't need a lift hill. <laughs> so you're like, you launch it just to slow it down. Sure, whatever. I mean, they kind of do that on Hagrid. I get it. Because as yeah. long as there's a show scene, I don't mind. But you also see near where that start point is, is also the end point going back out of the giant gravity building. And it looks like a jump point, um, mm. like where they like jump through space in the Guardians movies mm -hmm. or in Marvel movies in general. So that is kind of neat that like it's kind of like the donut or the Hollywood sign <laughs> on Rocket Roller Coaster, but it's a jump <laughs> point. So I can imagine cool. like projection mapping on it or something to make it look like those weird octagon things that you fly through. And it's like a, you know, wormhole back to the, to the start of the thing. But if you look on the right side of that photo though, there's like a giant curtain or something. Uh, so this photo, it's not the whole ride. It's maybe a third of the building. Mm. So we're still missing a ton of the actual stuff. And there might be stuff above what we're looking at too, because it's oh, tall. I'm sure. So, um, cause it just looks empty right now, but there's, there's rumors of, you know, screams, <laughs> no scream. No, <laughs> it's, no. it's weird. Cause we are talking about universal attractions and how like, yeah, it's got like these real Raptors and it's got these real, like in super Nintendo world is all these sets and stuff. And then we're talking about Disney attractions and are like, yeah. And then you go into a screen. <laughs> Yay. Uh, did we talk about the domes? The domes. There's some company and there was permits for uh, it's like a company that makes planetarium domes. And they mm. ordered, I think, three domes from this company. And I don't know. I originally thought, OK, maybe they're like part of the actual attraction. But we did see concept art for what did they call it? Disney called it the Galaxarium. The Galaxarium, yeah. which is a okay. planetarium-like exhibition that explores the similarities and mysteries of the formation of Earth's galaxy and Xandar. Okay. This is how they make um, an Epcot attraction educational while still tying it to the <laughs> fictional world of Guardians <laughs> of the Galaxy. It's like, as you can see here, the Big Bang created your universe and our universe at the same time. And, but yeah, so, because like that's the whole idea is that we're going through a Xandar gallery on this first other world showcase pavilion. <laughs> And we're going to go back in time or something? Is that what I understand is happening in this ride? I, I, I think Disney Imagineers are hurting themselves with this stretch is what's happening. <laughs> we're going to go back in time and then accidentally run into the dinosaurs that were originally in this building. And that's how the ride ends. I, I, I <laughs> and then we're trapped in the dinosaur <laughs> period. And the animatronic Ellen is there. And she's like, I ah, get this long necked monster snake thing away from me. No, I um. <laughs> There was all these rumors that like we 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 accidentally go back to the Big Bang or something. So let me just lay it out here as I understand these rumors that are like completely unfounded. But 
imagine it that is um rockin and peter quill are talking star lord and peter quill is like yeah i really miss earth especially epcot i went to epcot when i was eight years old and rocket's like rocket's like you're not gonna believe this but i found this special time traveling crystal and we're gonna go back in time so you could see epcot which makes total sense because i would you know who cares about going to see your mom that you miss so much you listen to that music all the time let's go to epcot of course so then (laughs) so then uh um, they're at Epcot, but it's present day. So I guess they didn't go back in time. And then they, they rescue us from the Galaxarium. They're like, hey, we got to go on a mission. We go back in time to the Big Bang and somehow Buzzy the animatronic is there. I don't know. All these rumors don't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, what if what if they go back in time and they end up in Epcot at the same day and the same time when the little Peter Quill is there? If they touch each other, is that going to be the end of the world as we know it? Yeah, I don't... I. <laughs> Endgame had time travel. I don't think this is going to be time travel. Now I'm imagining the the, the the banner Hulk standing there going, time travel. No, I just think that it's just like we're going on a tour of the Xandar Gallery. Some bad guys come, the good guys come, and then we get into a ride vehicle and we do a jump and we like go to save the universe somehow. I, like that's Something all I think terrible it. happens. It has nothing Something to do with that. Something goes wrong. It has nothing to do with past <laughs> Epcot. All of that was a lie. It's nothing. Yeah. So the 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 typical something ter- goes terribly wrong. And yeah, the off. only the only way they tie it to anything is by talking about the Big Bang during the the Planetarium show. That's my guess. <laughs> oh man. Okay. So my guess is twenty twenty two for that is what I would guess. What do you think? Um, yeah. No, I think twenty twenty two. I think maybe. <clears throat> maybe like early, hopefully, but to, to mid 2022. Yeah. Um, I don't know when Tron's going to open. So like um, maybe we can hope Guardians will be early 2022 and then Tron will be late 2022 because I care more about this than I do Tron because I really like Rocket and I want an animatronic. We've talked about this so much. Just give me the Rocket animatronic <laughs> mission breakout. I mean, oh, I like I like the BB-8 on the pre-show for Rise of Resistance. It reminds me of the rocket from Mission Breakout. But come on. Like, there are now rumors that there is absolutely no animatronics for the Guardians coaster at all. Forget the ride. Not even the pre-show is rumored. Like, we're talking just a a, a background and, like, the the hologram effect with the characters. Mm -hmm. I want want an animatronic group if there's going to be a rocket. Right? How hard would it be to have like any, a Groot that only his eyes move and yeah, then a any rocket? Age. <laughs> any age Groot is fine with me, to be honest. I want a grown up Groot holding rocket and Groot doesn't even have to move, just his mouth move every once in a while. I was like, I'm Groot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we get it. But like, give me the full range rocket from Mission Breakout. I would love it so much. <sighs> hey, Mickey. But again, there, there's, there's rumors for, for no animatronics, so. Yeah, like the, the, in my mind, this roller coaster is becoming like the end of the mummy with the like the the lighting effects on a on a piece of plywood. That's what I'm worried. <laughs> the strobing black lights. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's just it's just rock and roller coaster, but instead of going through Randy's donut, we're we're going through a jump point. I Ugh. hope I'm wrong. At least the rotating Me. will be cool. I hope you're wrong too. Why I don't want to just see all screens in this ride. There should be animatronics. What the heck? Okay. Okay. So, Spaceship I don't, Earth. I don't, yeah, I was just say let's move on to Spaceship Earth because I'm not sure we even helped there. <laughs> I think we've caused more confusion <laughs> than we've, we've made anything clear. So I blame the rumors, um, but that's the problem with the Disney rumors is like they <laughs> they give us so much info and but it's in small drips and drabs, and and, and like there's it's hard to parse what they they mean because they exaggerate. <laughs> yeah, of course, and then. I'm not saying Chapik, but somebody removes money slowly, too, it seems. We have all these awesome yeah. ideas. Uh, we cut back on those ideas. Oh, we cut back on those ideas. Yeah, We're so maybe don't announce. This. We're just going to give you this half thing compared to what we started with and then wait for you to complain to get more stuff. Yeah, maybe don't announce the, the giant um, Jetsons building for the Festival Center until you're sure you're going to build it. Yeah, no kidding. Well, they might have yeah. been sure that it. In their defense, we do have a worldwide pandemic thing going on. So, fine, but what what's the excuse for Main Street Theater? Yeah, I have no mm-hmm. idea. I have no, mm-hmm. oh, there's a sinkhole, right? Is that's the rumor I heard? <laughs> yeah, all of Epcot is a sinkhole, and they still I manage know. to figure all that out. Florida is a sinkhole. <laughs> so, Spaceship Earth, I think this is still technically postponed 
like indefinitely, but not canceled. Boo. Boo. The, the redo. Um, they did, however, confirm that they have a new lighting package and they're going to put like sparkle lights on the spaceship Earth ball. Woo. Getting fancy now. And they confirmed Dreamer's point with uh, the Walt Disney statue is still happening. So he can he can sit and look out over the construction that will never can be completed in future worlds. <laughs> <community bar. laughs> and look over the mess. That He'll is look never over to the be finished. slab of concrete known as the festival slab. Area. it'll be a garden i, I in, in some ways it might actually yeah. end up being more pretty and just like put some like water features in there and and Man. i'll be happy i There's just want to water features in the moana area no it's a water play area whatever it's, really... so, it's water features bring back the reflecting pool bring back the flamingos in in the center of epcot <laughs> if anyone else is old like us they maybe they'll remember that <sighs> I'm kind of, I mean, it's not a big deal, but I'm a little bummed about that building not being done. It was kind of cool and uh, I was kind of looking forward to it, but whatever. I really like the design of it and I hope they do. They were going to put dessert parties on the roof for fireworks, so there's a chance they might still do it. (laughs) Yeah, of course. They can make money. All right. So what else do we got in Spaceship Earth? Because I love this ride and I would like to see it get updated. Yeah. So I wanted to talk briefly about... Uh, Because we're running out of time (laughs) to talk briefly about. (laughs) um, And I think we touched on it a bit in our um, question and answer episode last time. But in case you missed that, some some of the scene by scene rumors for the redo for Spaceship Earth, because I actually was kind of excited about the future of this. I think it's over time. It's Mm -hmm. overdue for a redo. I agree. I've like I've liked the last few changes, with the exception of some corny dialogue for the Judy Dench version. I do like the physical <laughs> changes that have happened throughout the years. I think and, the ride does usually get better with each re- refresh. And the um, creepily moving around newsy that just doesn't seem to stay in one place. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see if he has a face or not. He, he just gotta. I just gotta. I'm just like, like just so creepy that he keeps moving. Like, why is he facing away from me now? <laughs> <laughs> to to make that like alleyway look more real since it's just a painting on a wall. Oh, yeah. It sure. looks like to me, it's like Blair Witch Project where that kid got in trouble and he has to stare at the wall. Because <laughs> I know it's a wall. <laughs> you have to look at this painting for the rest of your time here, kid. Yeah. Well, that scene's so. gone. That scene's completely gone. From that scene on, everything, all bets are off. But so let's go through it real quick. Um okay. I don't know what's what's going on with the mammoths, but you know, it's still just a projection wall we'll keep that a projection wall but i think it's going to be the birth of the story light because remember the framing device for this one is that we'll be following the story light as we go through human history and the um the way we communicate with story maybe so, maybe remove the spinning hubcap with the dent and do like projection mapping uh, well the the whole this is projection mapping the ride now this is like well, i'm the talking redo. about that room like the big room just get rid of that whole mammoth thing that they bounce off of that spinning thing with a dent and just do projection mapping as like picture oh yeah yeah. And everything else. Like yeah a big thing on that wall i wonder if it even still would be the mammoth scene and they just completely redo it redone version of it um maybe so after whatever projection um they end up doing there we keep the the caveman scene but it's really focusing now on like campfire tales, telling stories and passing down stories from generations. Um, I think they'll still keep some of the cave pan- painting thing because cave painting is another way of telling stories and passing it down to generations. But really focusing in on the, the campfire and like the stories that they're telling in the campfire are like physically manifesting themselves out into the sky through the projection lights thing and that moves on to the next scene so the idea being that we have culture because the stories keep getting passed on through hundreds and thousands of years but updated animatronics for cavemen and uh, lots of projection mapping yeah that sounds cool i do like that little so for most of these scenes though we're keeping the structures intact except uh maybe the cave scene they're going to open up the sky a little bit more because you have to have that projection light always passing through the sky from scene to scene to connect it. So, you know, they're telling campfire stories, stories go up into the air, the air, it moves on to Egypt. Egypt, we lose, I think they released this concept art officially, right? They, they we, yeah. we lost our um, unknown man pounding <laughs> reeds into paper. <laughs> Papyrus. Dun, 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 dun. Um, 
and and we lose our taxes and and we get you know more storytelling and uh apparently all the hieroglyphics are glowing i'm guessing that's projection map because hieroglyphics so cool. i guess is a way of you know storing stories for the future too um what comes after that the phoenicians no more thanking the phoenicians thank you uh as uh, that's like one of the first pieces of concept art and everyone was freaking out but i think it is like a pacific islanders telling their stories and then the the story light turns into like you know the the grandmother from moana um <laughs> she's a stingray yeah. now so uh, but it, but it's not technically moana this that that's actually you know history um so what haven't we seen what comes next the so uh, greek, uh, greek, oh greek says the same yeah. it, i i like that it's going back to kind of how it used to be with the um, instead of teaching math and the one guy falling asleep, it's back to storytelling. <laughs> and there's a you know a, actually telling a story, uh, and the other people are listening and they're interested. They're not falling asleep this time. Um, but behind them in the sky is whatever they're talking about. The story light is kind of acting it out. So cool. we have this projection mapping going on. Um, whoever's telling a story, we see their story above or behind them. So I think that's pretty cool. Rome burns. And uh, the monks and the printing press probably all stays the same. The Renaissance, hey. maybe maybe they mix up the Renaissance a little bit uh, to talk more about uh, storytelling and um, like aspirations for the future and less about um, like keeping art. You got to keep the Sistine Chapel. But <laughs> I wonder if we get rid of the uh, father the- from uh, a carousel of progress playing a lute and we get more <laughs> <laughs> a little less da vinci flying machine is that what you're saying yeah yeah a little less da vinci flying machine maybe a little more galileo looking to the stars or something because we got to tie this up to the future somehow so a little more hopeful future um but we keep the sistine chapel chapel because like we have to right right of course of course we of have course to that's important so then we get to the industrial revolution the civil war is over um, uh, that whole scene completely ripped out, absolutely gone. Um, and I mean like the, the, the boy with no face facing the wall gone, <laughs> the, the big giant, uh, uh, printing press machine thing gone, the steam powered thing, the Morse code, all the stupid power lines that are in like neon with the, 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 the operators, like, please hold, please hold, like all gone. The, the guy in the radio booth, the TVs, the little theater, Wow, there's a lot crammed into this scene. All yeah, of it's gone. <laughs> Goodbye. And, and, and we we tore it out, and and um, instead of it, we we put in like a a nineteen like what is it like nineteen twenties style like uh, cityscape. Probably. Yeah. And um, really cool new age uh, technology power lines that look like you could see the electricity like going through the power lines, and it's like storytelling on steroids now. Like we can tell a story and then we can, you know, send it across <laughs> the world. And, 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 but this is what we talked about in the last one. We're like, I hope it's a Tesla coil. Um, yeah, exactly. and not just projection mapping, but I have a feeling it's going to look like a Tesla coil, but then it's actually <laughs> going to be the projection map story light just transforms into electricity and like, you know, instead of just people's thought bubbles <laughs> appearing on, in the story light now it's like full on, um, <laughs> force lightning (laughs) (laughs) shooting across from scene to scene um (laughs) so but yeah the the and then like the computer as big as a room and the um uh uh what else we have the 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 guy in the garage at the end uh all that's gone so like not wozniak (laughs) <laughs> the what not Wozniak. Not Wozniak. Uh, and we were talking about this before the show, but like what it used to be in 1982, like it did show like a bunch of different TV screens and stuff. And yeah. I think this version is kind of going to go back to that where it encapsulates like all of modern history and uh, entertainment and storytelling and um, people on YouTube. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so like, some I think like we're going to pass through some kind of abstract concept room where it's all holographic stuff where there's like, you know, these people over here are, are playing in a rock band on, on streaming video. And these people over here are making a movie and like all of it's going to be tied together through this cool, like digital story thing. So the, like it started as smoke in the campfire 
And then it turned into like, um, you know, uh, people's words and thoughts and hieroglyphics and every scene, it keeps getting weirder and weirder. And then it turns into force lightning. And then the story light is like (laughs) digital information, but not like the matrix stupid ones and zeros like we have now, but like really cool digital, like um, fiber optics. Um, Yeah. But I'm I'm intrigued on how, because they're going to open it up. Like they're going to open up this top part of Spaceship Earth as much as you can and then project hologram stuff everywhere. So instead of it being, you know, we're in someone's living room watching the moon landing. Now it's more like we're in the Internet, like Ralph breaks the Internet type thing. (laughs) (laughs) But not as cartoony, not as cartoony. I'm just excited. I love this ride and I think it's long overdue for some love. So I'm glad. I I think the best news, though, um, is that the descent will is rumored to at least with this redo was rumored to have physical set pieces again. Yeah. Cause I, I loved the AT&T version. I know it was just a long commercial for AT&T on the way down, but I still loved it because they had all these little vignettes and stuff. It was almost like a second ride on the way down. So much better than what we have now. I'm for it. Right. Yeah. So rip out that screen. I think um, the whole descent down is um, like a, a digital forest where um, kind of like being in Tron, but on acid with like a whole lot of uh, <laughs> ir- iridescent, kind of like a throwback to the triangles. Remember the triangles? They kind of still kept yeah. the triangles, but the triangles were like, you know, just some neon paint and black lights. Well, imagine that, but like times a thousand. So you're so just, cool. you're coming down through like the digital future. So cool. So yeah, I'm in for it. I really hope that they, they they're able to do it because like as the ride stands right now, it just feels, I don't even want to say outdated. It just feels a little, yeah, it feels outdated. <laughs> yeah. It, feels outdated. it needs love. And the figures that move need some love big time because they're very, you 80s. know, and we'll, we'll keep the earth at the top. Obviously you keep the earth at the top. I wouldn't mind if they brought the moon thing in that they never did where it looks like yeah. you're on the moon. But uh, I, I, all I've heard is that the earth will be projection mapped even better, which every time they update it, the earth does look better. Like it, it looks does. like it's it's kind of creepy the way it stands so perfectly still as we rotate. So I think that I, I trust them on that. Yeah, yeah. I hope I, I, I can't wait. I hope they do it sooner than later. I'm excited for this. So the only other thing I wanted to talk about with Disney rumors, because they did bring it up during their virtual events a few weeks ago, is the Splash Mountain redo. Cool. The the, the Princess in the Frog version. Um because they keep saying it's a priority. Like <laughs> for some reason, Star Wars hotel is a priority. Forget Tron, you know, for some reason, guardians is a priority. Who cares about Ratatouille? Like the one that's done, but like for some reason, those splash mountain, they were trying to confirm to us like, no, no, we want to, we want to make sure this is a priority and we're putting a rush on it. Like that's like, that was their words. Like we're, we're, we're moving faster than they originally planned. Um, I still don't think the Splash Mountain's closing until 2022, though. Yeah, probably not. I mean, they seem to have gotten that concept art together pretty quickly, but they still have to do all the planning and everything else that goes along with it. And they yeah, kind of have other things going on right now. So, yeah, and I don't blame them. You know, like 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 you said earlier, there's a pandemic going on. So if things are bit. pushed back, that's fine. Um, I like, it's surprising to me that they're pushing things forward. That's, that's the weird (laughs) part. Um, considering everything else that they're doing, but yeah, they, they actually announced it, I think a few months earlier than they were planning on to like they, because of what was happening in the country and because, um, like there was the, the, the petitions going around to turn it into princess and the frog and, and Disney probably, they were probably going to announce it during the D 23 fantastic worlds event anyway. And then with all that happening, they're like, maybe we should just announce it now. Like, this seems to be the right time. So they announced it and they cobbled together that concept art maybe a few months earlier, but they were still going to announce it um, this year. Um, I don't expect it to open till like, what, 2024, 2025, maybe? Yeah, definitely. I'm not I'm not expecting it to happen fast, even though it's a priority and they're working on it. They, they Supposedly, they haven't nailed down um, all the story details yet and... Was it Japan? They have this ride in Japan, right? I think they turned down the proposal. So uh, we might only see it get uh, Disneyland and Disney World get get the redo. Interesting. It doesn't make me feel confident about their plans right now. Well, they didn't redo Pirates over there either. So 
they have all the offensive That's stuff true. still in their rides. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> I'm not going to leave that in the, the podcast, but it's true. Um, it is true. <laughs> uh, so the story is that Lewis the alligator is looking for his trumpet case. I heard he was looking for his trumpet, but apparently okay. the internet thinks it's he's looking for his case. And I'm like, Lewis, why do you need your case to play the trumpet? But anyway, they're preparing no. for their for their Mardi Gras show. Um for the ride itself, like the redo, the rumors are Tiana's going to appear at the beginning and the end. So this is the Lewis the Alligator show. Yes. We have the, I'm okay. the, the first scene, um, the like, how do you do scene now on Splash Mountain is going to be uh, a, a, like a introduction with the, all the characters and then the end finale. I hope and I think they're going to keep it a big giant finale because it's a Mardi Gras celebration so you keep like the riverboat and you keep a lot of the different characters and maybe redo some of the old let's get a third use out of those animatronics from america sings let's keep using them um so like i'm hoping some of them may be repurposed even if you turn some of them into people because it'll be kind of neat to see this ride with actual people animatronics even though most of it's going to be lewis the alligator definitely do we we get dr facilier then Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. please please uh yeah but like he he was taken to the other side, so I don't know if it's him or just um, some of his friends from the other side. They're gonna be uh, they're gonna be on the final lift hill. So you know, like up at the top, you're it's like you're being dragged by the creepy um, shadow monsters from the movie Ghost, and <laughs> up to the top <laughs> before the drop, and then uh, they're cast off by Mama uh, Odie at the top, and and her spell um, does away with uh, either Doctor Facilier's ghost or or the bad friends the shadow people um and that but that sends us down the waterfall to our safety and and right into the you know into the mardi gras into the Mar- you're laughing but this is the ride here's the scary here's you're safe now here's your scary fall back to earth yeah it's like i save you so no more briar patch briar patch but we'll probably get some kind of really cool thing like be gone with you like i don't know uh, whatever she sounds like um no, but going back, there's they're gonna keep some of the visual gags. So it's neat that like people who like Splash Mountain the Ride will still get a lot of the Splash Mountain the Ride, even though you know it's gonna be updated for a newer audience. Um Rare Bear has his nose stuck in the beehive, might be uh replaced with Lewis covered in prickers. <laughs> this is one of the rumors. Um so like different things. I, I, I there's right now there's so many Brer Bear butts. Like every scene has his butt <laughs> sticking out of something. Do you, do you think the uh, do you think the hidden Mickey in the clouds laying down is going to make it through? There's what a hidden Mickey in the clouds. Yeah, there's a Mickey. If you could see it on the train ride, uh, if you ride the train through, Splash oh, Mountain, there's a Mickey in the clouds. I've never noticed it. Well, the train's been closed for two years, so how am I, I supposed to know I'm that? I'm gonna say. I was gonna say. Yeah. <laughs> um. They're they're supposedly changing the skies and stuff uh, to full on projection mapping, so like full on like set extension type That's stuff cool. in in the backgrounds of the scenes. Like we still have like we have a cartoon like um, Brer Rabbit running over the the hills, like a lot more of that kind of stuff. But instead of it just being projected like onto flat walls, we might get like some of the Navi River Journey projected onto logs and stuff. Like I I hope they really make it feel more alive, even if they're not going to have as many animatronics that's cool but like the 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 bees circling around in the uh the laughing place uh instead of bees we're gonna have a a scene with the fireflies because the fireflies are a big part of the the movie so like it's it's a it's a lot of small changes but it's still like it'll still feel like splash mountain but you know with the new characters and kind of a new story and for some reason lewis is looking for his trumpet case <laughs> i think it's his trumpet i think he's looking for it. you can't play it's mardi gras without trumpet. the trumpet it's gotta, yeah, be, it's gotta trumpet. be a trumpet he doesn't need a trumpet um, case. does he even have a trumpet case in the movie i don't even remember no he's does always he walking ever... around with his trumpet yeah, his I was horn. Gonna say. yeah so but yeah i i think don't get your hopes too much on the animatronics i think there'll definitely be a lot less we're well, not a lot but less animatronics but the ones that are there will probably be the more advanced versions. Like the 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 human characters will probably be the much more advanced electronic animatronics. So more impressive. Um, please don't have projected faces. <laughs> <laughs> no. let's, let's get no. like the Beauty and the Beast no. animatronics from from Tokyo, please. Let's get some actually good animatronics for the intro and the outro. Tony Baxter is consulting on it, so you know 
I hope that we get some some pretty impressive stuff. But it, it sounds like a good. fun redo, honestly. I'm like I'm I'm looking forward to the change. And you know me, I like all new things, especially when they're going to be done respectfully. So yeah, of course, I'm good with all this stuff. I mean, Splash Mountain's nostalgic for me in a way, but it it whatever things are always going to change. So it is what it is. I'm hoping it's just good. I just hope it's good. Can you imagine though being pulled up the lift hill by the shadow people and then being saved by uh, Mama <laughs> Odie at the top? Like that's so like, that sounds really creepy, actually. <laughs> and you get to the bottom, she's like, "Oh, sorry, didn't mean to drop you." Briar that's patch. Just, <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's all we got. That's all the rumors, right? Cool. Yeah, that's all we're gonna talk about for now. There's still, you know, everything's still evolving, and like uh, even when it comes to Super Nintendo World opening. Um, February 4th like you just don't know these days um, things can change the some of the international parks had to close again after opening um, so you know yeah we, 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 we get good news and then we get some bad news so hopefully um, come next year things start to get better 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 so that yeah. we can get we can get these these new additions done and look forward to the future definitely I'm really excited I think out of all these I think guardians I'm excited for but I think it's really cool to see spaceship Earth get some love again I like, uh, yeah, it sounds like the Moana journey of water is a done deal, but it's weird that we're in a space where spaceship earth is the one that's teetering on getting canceled. <laughs> like, it's so it seems like an easy redo, but at the same time, when you hear all the stuff they're planning, like half the ride's going to get gutted. So it, I understand it. why. Yeah. I, I'm excited for it. I'm excited for all this stuff. All right, guys. I think that's it then. Right, boss. Yeah. Check out the, um, Mm-hmm. theme park stop patreon channel patreon that what do you call it check out our patreon on theme park stop yeah, we just put out a, a rip ride rocket premium podcast that uh <laughs> we ripped rip ride rocket a new one <laughs> <laughs> i was gonna say spoilers alicia doesn't like it i don't i don't like it i don't like it at all it's not good it's not a good ride hostile hostile so all right thanks for joining us guys bye 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 guys